type promotion looks something like this. Byte can be passed to a function which is expecting short or int or long or float or double. So let's just scribble. Byte can be passed on to short or int or long. Similarly for float and also for double. Similarly, if we talk about short, short can be sent to int, long, float and double. And what we saw in our case was that int was being called to float, which is perfectly all right. And of course, long can be called, long can be passed to a function which holds a parameter of type float. And what about char? Well, char comes in over here. Char can be passed from int and all the others. So this is where char stands. We may also have a case where there are two functions with two different parameters. Let's get them ready. So we have some function with say int a and float b and we have another function with float a and int b. And in this case, I try calling it with int and int. So first, any guesses what would happen? So I'm trying to call the sum function method with int comma int which is just not present we have int float we have float int but we don't have int comma int so what should happen should 5 be type promoted to float or should this 5 let's let's just give this a different number should 5 be type promoted to float or should 10 be type promoted to float will this function be called or this function be called is the question and this question trust me i've seen it in many interview questions let's try and find out we'll just compile our program before that we'll save it we have saved it. Let's try compiling it. Uh, okay, we have we have the error. Now see, overloading reference to some function is ambiguous. This is exactly what we wanted. This is the error. So you cannot have ambiguity. So of course, just like we were confused, the compiler is confused as well. Java has no idea whether to pass it on to this function or to this function. So take a look at that error. Error reference to some function is ambiguous. Both method sum function in float in overloading and method sum function float int in overloading match. So exactly Java cannot resolve the call and this results in ambiguity. This is an interview question. Please make a note of it. Now before we conclude, let's talk about another question which is constructor overloading. Is constructor overloading possible? Yes, it is very much possible. You can have multiple constructors with different types of parameters being accepted or different number of parameters. So you can have say a class with let's call the class employee. So this class can have various forms of the constructor as we know that the constructor will have the same name as that of the class. So employee with no parameters will be the default constructor. We can have one more say which will accept the string location as we saw previously. This is a parameterized constructor and we can have many more. We can have many versions of the same constructor. So yes, constructor overloading is possible and method overloading is exactly what we saw. So that's it for this video. Thank you so much. Keep watching.